looks so cute. Mm -hmm. <sighs> looks nice. Mm -hmm. I ended up ordering two prints because the walls are pretty bare. Yeah. yeah, so this one looks like that. It, this one came from Mexico. Paper quality isn't as good as this one. Oh, it's pretty it's shit. Pretty like flimsy, but whatever. Uh, as long as there's something on the walls. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't that expensive. Uh, and this one. Oh, so cute. So this is all like the Disneyland snacks that you can get. Like I've wanted this for for a very long time. I wanted something Disney or Disneyland themed in the kitchen. If you wanna support a small business, then I also highly suggest checking out their prints. Can't wait to see what it looks like on the walls. And it's also, it matches our personality since we're both Disney people. outfit I don't normally wear mainly because I don't have a belt for it so I stole one of Sebastian's belts and like used it to like cinch in the waist. I like it. I think it looks nice. Um, could use with a bit of ironing but that's fine. I'm not going anywhere special today. I feel like this portion of the vlog is just me showing you guys stuff. Um, so I just got a, a shipment for Sora and <laughs> he knows I'm talking about him. He just stared at me. It's actually from a cat accessory store called Meow Lives. We ordered some adorable collars for him. This one is my absolute favorite on him. It's a little bow tie and I've shown him wearing it before. Um, he looks so freaking cute in this thing. Yeah, let's try them on him. So we got him this little bandana. Um, and then even though this one looks a little bit girly, I loved it. Um, I'm just gonna open it. This one is an egg charm collar, which I thought was really freaking cute. He looks so handsome in his collars. I just love it. Uh, he gets fussy with them on like for the first little bit and then he kind of just ignores it after a while. But they make for really great photo shoots and he just looks so cute. <laughs> so, uh, I have to size this on him. Hey, it's not a toy. Sora, nay. Nay. This is why it's better to do this when he's sleepy. Oh my gosh, he looks so cute. <laughs> Look how adorable he looks. <laughs> Aren't you ready? Oh, the egg one is super easy to adjust, which is good. Haha, <laughs> he tried to fight the egg one, but I got it on him. Look at him plotting my demise. Handsome. You can use the coupon code Sora50 to get yourself 50% off if you have your own fur baby and you want them to look super, super cute. This one called baby powder. Baby powder. Oh, wait. Made in Canada. Eurovision starts in six minutes. Oh, that's hard. Oh, it's like eating a chocolate covered popcorn. Yeah. 
before I do anything with this video. I need a Swedish word of the day. First thing that comes to mind is bice. Bice? Mm. Poop? <laughs> Swedish word of the day. Bice. How do you spell it? B-A-J-S. B-A-J-S. Bice. Don't you want a, a more cute word? No. Okay. Bice it is. How do you say it in a sentence? Jag måste bajsa. Not uh, actually. Ja. Jag måste bajsa. Måste? What's måste? Must. Must? Oh. Jag måste bajsa. <laughs> <laughs> He's laughing at me. That means I, I have... must. I must poop? Yeah. I must poop. I have to poop. <laughs> Why do you add a a uh, at the end? Because it's something you're doing. Oh, okay. Oh, so complicated. Just go by then. Just go poop then? Yeah, I mean, obviously. <laughs> Sebastian always gives us the most sophisticated words. Un jour de différence Dans toute une existence Ça n'a pas it's super nice being out here in the fresh air, drinking coffee, reading a book. Yesterday, um, we stayed out a little bit later to finish watching Eurovision. My personal favorites uh, from last night, I really liked the, the UK. Obviously, I really loved Sweden. I love Cornelia. Um, and uh, there were so many good ones that it's hard for me to pick, but I was like thoroughly entertained with Norway's. I thought it was so random and funny. Um, I wasn't expecting, like I laughed so hard at the title of their song. Just like wolves and bananas are such like a random thing. If you watched it, you know what I'm talking about, but <laughs> yeah, I was thoroughly entertained by them. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna chill and perhaps I will end the vlog here and there's like a bird flying up there. I'm being paranoid, but. Um, also, just a note, I realized that I was eligible for Super Thanks on YouTube. So now you can see like a little heart with like the dollar sign for people to donate. There's no pressure to do any of that. I just thought, it, well, I didn't know that I was eligible for it. So I just, enabled it. Um, now any donations that I get from any super thanks will be directly put into my channel and could potentially help me pay some bills. Homesickness this week has felt much better. I'm looking forward to next week, next weekend when we're gonna go to Stockholm um, and just kind of sightsee and retrace some footsteps because Next weekend is mine and Sebastian's anniversary, so that's why we're going to Stockholm. Not every place, I don't think we're gonna, I think we're gonna check out some new things as well, but we might go back to other locations that we've been to before, like our very first time meeting um, back in 2019. So yeah, so that's the next vlog, so look out for that one. And <laughs> Sora scared of the wind. Oh, buddy. It is very windy right now. But yeah, anyways, thank you guys for watching this week's vlog. Um, I'm really enjoying doing these weekly vlogs. They're actually a lot of fun, and I feel less burnt out doing them. So I'm kind of feeling like this might be a bit of the direction of my channel for a while, while posting, like, occasional other videos. But nay, nay, you are crazy. Oh my god, the cat is like trying to like jump over the balcony. Yeah, that's it for today. I'm gonna enjoy my Sunday coffee and book and just kind of chill out. I hope you guys had a really nice week and I'll see you, talk to you in the next video. Bye guys, much love.